Shell Sani reacts after World Bank. Said Nigerians should be buying petrol 750 per liter instead of 650. Nigerians, there is fire on the mountain. It seems that Nigerian sufferings are not ending very soon. This is so sad. Well, these have generated reactions from Nigerians. Let's hit the news and get the full details. Member of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and the former Kaduna lawmaker who represented Kaduna Central at the National Assembly, Shehu Sani, has reacted after the World Bank said that Nigerians would be buying fuel at 750 per liter instead of 650 naira. According to Punch, the World Bank stated that the federal government may still be paying for fuel subsidy considering that fuel prices are currently not cost-reflective in the country. The report further stated that the World Bank said the price of petrol should be around 750 per liter, more than the 650 per liter currently being paid by Nigerians. In a post that Shehu Sani made on his verified Twitter page on Thursday, he said that the World Bank now wants petrol price to be increased to 750 per liter. He wrote on his page, Now the World Bank wants petrol price to be increased to 750 per liter. Hmm. Nigerians. So the World Bank now, now they won't come begin, they put price of uh, fuel for Nigerians. This is really, really shocking. Good for nothing World Bank, instead of to better the life of the human race, they are costing pains. Shame. Until Nigerians stand up against the white, time will come, we will go back to ride on donkeys, to ride on donkeys. If at we can afford to buy one safely uh, slavery in, in these guys, they pack our mineral resources. They make our currency money important than our own. Okay? They make their currency money important than our own, thereby making us look foolish in the eyes of the global world. Yeah, yeah, people. Our leaders go, they do follow, follow. The World Bank is not God, too. They want Nigerians to experience serious suffering. What we are suffering now is not yet enough to the World Bank. Someone tell Nigerian. Uh, the World Bank to stop deceiving our good for not for nothing leaders. So it is World Bank that makes laws for Nigeria. This is I'm so worried about this. The 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 mouth speak of the God. Thank you for speaking up. IMF and Criminal Works Bank are the reason why we are in this condition today. World banks are the problem of African Africans in Nigeria in particular. Stop borrowing money to political office holders to loot, thereby controlling and compelling them to inflict suffering on the people. World bank are, are handlers, are agents of darkness on Africa, Nigeria in particular. See, this matter don't they come out for be careful. This will not be joke. If at this time someone is saying 650 naira Nigerians are buying fuel per liter is not enough, then 750, then at the end of the day, fuel will not be sold for 800 and, 800 and something naira. So that means they just want Nigerians to roost. And why would World Bank be telling us how to buy the fuel that we have? This is a very big shame of fuel when we get. Now we get fuel. We know if you produce fuel for this country, we go transport fuel, go abroad. They go send them back to us. We go buy them expensive. We have all the resources to put everything in order in this country, but no. Our politicians are so wicked. Our leaders, they are so wicked that they don't even consider the pains of Nigerians. They always, their own. Their own. Look at 2024 budget. Everything is about their selves. Education, 6%. Where did they see that one? 
So they don't have any plan for Nigerians. You are not talking about six hundred and uh, seven hundred and fifty thousand naira for for fuel per liter. When I not say last last, they're not gonna sell her like that. You go reach eight hundred or eight twenty. Now you say these people are encouraging criminality because so many people go enter streets with that. Currently, if you see the begging when they when they self, you know, go understand the criminality now when they now. You know, you, you know, get pay. Nigerian government have no solution for our undergraduates. Uh, please pardon me. Our our uh, graduates that just uh, graduated, even those ones that have graduated since seven years now, no work, unemployment everywhere. There is no hope in this country. And people they jackpot. You say why then they jackpot? They have to stay and die in this country. When you have no plans, their children is not their children not they they they, they pass this wahala now when we they pass through. All these leaders, their children, they don't they abroad. All of them, they, they go school for abroad. If they finish school self, their job is already made, it's there waiting for them. I just they pity Nigerians. See, now we supposed to end this matter ourselves. How many are these politicians? That are intimidating Nigerians. How many are they? How many are they? How many are they? This suffering is too much. They don't even understand what Nigerians are going through. If they understand all this kind of talk, self, you know, if you bring them out, all this kind of talk, as you talk them, you go flush them. You understand? They don't know what Nigerians are going through. It's a pity. So, guys, I beg. You know, see all these people get as they tell they do something. Maybe they don't they plan like this. They go first of all use this one talk. Make them hear Nigerians. Make them see how they go to react. Last, last, they go implement them. In Nigeria, what they do, if they don't already arrange something, they go just talk them, make it be say, you know, we don't tell you now. They don't already do what they do. You get. Make we see as this one won't work out. But this will be deadly. I beg. Make we hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.